Liverpool are privately admitting they mishandled the Luis Suarez racism affair, Channel 4 News has learned. The Liverpool striker won't be on the pitch for tomorrow's FA Cup Northwest Derby against Manchester United. He's still serving an eight-match ban for racially abusing another United player. Both clubs have called for the focus to be on the football, but for Liverpool there is another challenge, how to rebuild their reputation. From Anfield, here's our sports reporter, Camian Zerum. Few football clubs stand together like Liverpool. Few issues can divide like racism. Luis Suarez will not play against United tomorrow. He's still banned for using racist language, calling a United player Negrito repeatedly. Anfield's legendary togetherness has been rocked. The police and the Football Association have urged the fans to be respectful and the clubs to be aware of their responsibilities. But for Liverpool's black supporters, there's a more trenchant issue how to rebuild Anfield's image. Loyalty in this football city runs deep, but its reputation has taken a dive. Its biggest club, a global brand, has worked hard to embrace all its fans. But for some diehard Reds, the atmosphere on the terraces has changed. Yeah. We probably haven't heard that on, on the terraces for quite some years. Well, and, and, and a youth worker time. and part-time well, scout it, 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 and his friend. One on Anfield's it's books as a schoolboy, another so, at Liverpool's really last really game on Wednesday. Club, it really takes me back to being a kid and being abused on a football pitch as a kid, representing Liverpool as a kid and being abused, and you really think, have we come very far? I went to the semi-final game on um, Wednesday night and a gentleman um, in the road in front of me turned around and asked me how I'd feel if I was called a Negrito. There's a bit of a grey area now because people have read into the support of Luis Suarez as the support of racism. The consensus here at least, their beloved club should simply have said sorry. And the public displays of support have been a PR and race relations disaster. Privately, the club concedes they got their strategy wrong, but only privately. They've been reaching out to race advisory groups like Kick It Out for advice. And one of Liverpool's most respected community leaders, G. Walker, whose son was murdered in a racist attack. I said that we've made mistakes. And in addition, yes, we got it wrong, but we're willing to use this as a springboard to make our club even better. When another player, Oldham's Tom Adeyemi, was allegedly racially abused this month by a Liverpool supporter, he was consoled by Liverpool players. A man was swiftly arrested, and for this, the club were commended. 1991. And there are those who maintain the club may soon be forgiven by its fans, at least. For it is football, and in the end, it's about winning. Even if Suarez is 100% guilty, and Suarez scores 50 goals this season, and they win the league, and they win the cup, that's showbiz. So ultimately, that is all that matters. I can guarantee that 100%. The Liverpool manager called on his club's famous following to be as one for tomorrow's game. But the most important thing is, uh, for us as a team, we all play and we all stick together. But there's more at stake in this city than the result. An uncomfortable truth, and doesn't Anfield know it? Kami Enzerum, Channel 4 News, Liverpool.